Hello everyone, I'm Gemini Day, Princess of Dawn, and welcome to Empires. This is the server where every member has their own empire and unique traits. Here in Dawn, we are trading crops with the help from some villagers and bee things with the help from the bees. Speaking of which, everyone, today we've had an expansion. This lovely little goblin villager moved in and started farming some wheat for us, which is super helpful and it's one of the last crops that we had that we weren't automatically farming. Our carrot and potato friends are still doing well and we have a little beetroot field over there everything is going so well but there are a couple of farm expansions that i would like to make recently i've had a couple of customers oh it's raining hello hello oh um I was in the area and I heard there is a princess with bees around here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me. That's me. Uh, who, who are you? You seem to have brought the rain. I did, and I'm sorry. I come from the mangrove. It's pretty wet over there. Oh. Um, but I'm a witch. Anytime you need any magic or potions a or witch. spells, you can come to me. Oh, that's a so good one, cool. You're a great yeah. witch. You, you do magic? I am great, actually. It's funny that you already knew that. I need honeycomb because I need lots of candles for my magic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come right on in here. <gasps> this is my farm area, and the bees stay upstairs. But if you look in that chest right there, there's tons of honeycomb. Whoa! Wow, thank you so much. <gasps> oh, my gosh, there she is. Oh, hi. Oh, look at your beautiful bees you have here. Yeah, yeah, aren't they wonderful? Oh. The bees of they dawn. are wonderful. I was actually hoping I could trade with you for some honeycomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got tons of that. Come up to the barn. Come on, come on. <gasps> Fabulous. I have brought all the greatest treasures from my empire. And as you can tell from those customers, they were very happy to take some honeycomb. But honeycomb is not the only thing that these bees can produce. Bees also produce pure honey, which you can collect in honey bottles like this. This is not only a very good source of food, but also another building block that we have yet to unlock. Uh, ignore the villager on my counter. Back to the honey bottles. Thinking in our greenhouse over here, maybe down in the basement. Okay. <laughs> I'm thinking down here, hopefully we could clear this out a little bit and create a little honey bottle farm down here. You know, this area probably needed to be cleaned up anyway, so this is for the best. Okay, this room is cleared out, but there's still a couple of things that I need in order to be able to do this. In order to build another one of those fancy farming contraptions, we're going to need a bunch of stuff from the mines. It's time for Princess Gem to put on a brave face and go caving. And so off on a caving adventure I went. I ended up finding this huge cavern that me and Jimmy had briefly entered before, but we hadn't really explored very far. I was able to get a ton of iron staying just above the deep slate level, which I was very excited about. Look at me go. Princess Gem is a very brave miner now. Please subscribe. Subscribe for gem mining gems. Right, I think I have everything that I need. I'm using a design by Il Mango. I'll link it below. Okay, so I've made this handy little trapdoor right here, and then we step down in here, and this'll be where the honey bottles happen. Okay, huh. I did it! I, uh, I followed a tutorial. It should work. The only issue is I don't actually have any bees in here. Luckily for me, though, with just a couple of flowers, that's a pretty fixable issue. All we gotta do is wait for the dreaded nighttime when the bees all go to sleep. Here, do you want a flower? The sun is setting. That's it. That's it. Everybody go to bed. Perfect. I think this is my time. Silk touch. Silk touch. We just swap it for the new hives. Perfect. Now we just plop the new hives in here. And we don't have enough bees in there quite yet, but at the very least, it's a start. Grab a couple more of the empty hives and go fill them with bees. Honestly, I feel like this is some absolutely genius bee location happening here. Look at my precious little bees. Oh, I love them. They're all so awesome. Okay, I just need a couple of days for these guys to grow up and then we can do some more bee locating. Relocating. It relocating, not, not be locating. Sorry, sorry. After a little more work and a bit of AFKing, I think the honey farm is complete. And I've got some very happy bees around. Let me just show you what we've got to work with. Okay, I don't know how much. Okay, four. <laughs> I feel like I'm. Hello, Pirate Joe! Hello? What are, you, what are you doing in my greenhouse? 
I didn't realize you were here. I live here. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, I was just uh -huh. purchasing some of purchasing. your wares. Yeah. Yeah, honey. yeah. Okay. okay. Yes, I was purchasing your honey. Good. What What are you trading, Pirate Joe? <laughs> I have diamonds. How much do they cost? Oh, uh, one diamond be fine. I don't have very many. Is that okay? I okay. just made the farm like three seconds ago. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. I guess I'm your first customer. I feel like yeah. I should get a deal. Yeah, one diamond is a deal. You're welcome. <laughs> so, yeah. As you can see, my honey is very popular. The pirate wanted some, and I'm willing to bet other empires will too. Now that we've got another trade set up, however, I feel like it's really important that we once again set up a trade route. After all, Dawn is pretty far away from all the other empires, so it's important that they're able to get here to get their honey. Recently, a bunch of the empires have been creating portals to go back and forth from each other's bases. So, I figure we better join the trend and get a portal going. We're just gonna need a lot of obsidian. Hold on, I get it. There we go. 42 obsidian should probably do the trick. Now it's just a question of where exactly a portal should go to best help everybody get into my empire. And well, I think this road right here that's right by my markets and my barn and everything would be perfect. And this area is looking kind of ugly. So what if we brought the path in through here and made a portal here? We would just have to do a little bit of terraforming is all. By a little, I mean a lot probably. Right, now that this spot is cleared out, we need to also clear out the tree farm I've been using. So let's chop these down. Okay, trees are cleared and I think this path is just gonna hook up right about here. Now a portal is not quite going to blend in with the theme that I've got going here. So I'm gonna try my best to make it blend in just a little bit better by hopefully adding in some sort of nature elements and also sinking it into the cliff a little with some stone and cobblestone. Okay, first things first now, I want to sink the portal into this terrain. So I'm just gonna knock out the area where the portal's gonna go. We're gonna go for a medium sized portal. Now that I've got the space knocked out, all we gotta do is put in the obsidian and try not to misplace any. There we go, and I've still got 20 left over for nether side. Now we can craft our flint and steel and light this thing up and see how it looks. There we go. Now the main thing to do is going to be actually shaping this into the terrain and getting sort of an interesting shape and texture going. Okay, I'm thinking that's a pretty good look for the start of the stone. And the next thing I wanna do is try to get some nature in here. So we're gonna do some really big roots kind of wrapping around everything to bring in some of that nature-y vibe. I think some more mossy cobblestone would actually really help this. So I'm gonna really quickly grow a little propagule <laughs> for some vines. In the meantime though, let's see how this mossy cobble actually looks. And I think it's fantastic. Yes, that actually makes such a difference. We're also going to, of course, get some of these lovely glow berries in here. And of course, the classic, now we cover it in leaves. Okay, this is definitely better and more nature-y, but it's still not quite on theme. In order to help with the theme, I think we're gonna need some banners and some frog lights and a whole bunch of fences. This'll do. I really love the idea of creating these little lines of banners that come from a place because it shows the spirit of the place and also does a really good job of directing your line of sight towards the place that you want the viewer to look. Oh, that's way better. The frog lights are brilliant. Maybe we'll do another line just right here to the house. I should really invest in some more scaffold. Then we just come from here and go up. Oh, a mangrove tree finally grew. Okay, let's also make a quick pair of shears and get some of these vines. I know that you can make mossy cobblestone with actual moss, but I feel like since the mangrove trees are in now, vines are equally as easy to get. So let's just get these. And luckily I don't only need the vines, the wood is extremely useful as well. Now that I've got my mossy cobblestone, let's go ahead and just make a couple of rocks around here as well. I feel like that would really help the vibe. 
The process of decorating this portal was genuinely so much fun. After getting rid of a bit of the puzzle and setting up a little tiny farming area with some beetroot and carrots and placing a few more flowers, I realized that there was a bit of this that was actually very important. I, uh, I had to go to the nether. Hold on. I do math. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay, I got it. Can't go through this portal, though, because this portal will spawn me in the regular nether. I want to get on the ceiling, so, uh, hold on. Quick trip to Scott's. I pop through here. I should come out on the ceiling. I hope. Please, Scott. We need to go deeper. This is absolutely not the ceiling. I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm going back. This is Joel's. Maybe things aren't quite as hooked up as I thought they were. Okay. I made it to the roof. Oh, that was way more difficult than it needed to be. Now all I've got to do is go to the coordinates where Dawn would be, which is roughly this way. Okay, if I like this, I should hopefully appear back in Dawn. Please let me have done this math right. Yes! Oh, perfect! I hooked up my nether portal. Okay, that's brilliant. Now the only thing that I need to do is make a little line of wool so that everybody knows how to get to my empire. Now if we're going to be doing interdimensional travel, I feel like I should probably work on my gear because, <laughs> well, uh, I'm still wearing some iron armor, which hasn't mattered that much because I don't do that much fighting. But I do have enough diamonds for a helmet and a pair of pants. So why don't we go ahead and make ourselves some armor? If I just do a little bit of trading, I think I should be able to get enough levels to enchant both of these pieces of armor. Thank you. Oh, respiration on a helmet. That'd actually be helpful. Not bad. Protection, respiration, and aqua affinity. I just need to put unbreaking on that. And then for the pants, unbreaking and protection. Better than what I'm currently wearing. Heck yeah. I'm all fancy now. Look at me go. A very princess-like, if I do say so myself. Dawn is coming together so well. I love our little farming district that I've got set up now, and I think we're almost ready to get into the point where we can start working on some slightly bigger builds for the Empire, which I'm excited about. We're gonna have a little portside town down here and also a castle somewhere near the mountains. Every good princess needs a castle after all, at least I think. Probably. For now, though, everyone, I think that is all for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everyone!